So at least we're kind of easing into it, I guess. We're starting now in the mid 80s around noontime. This afternoon, highs are going to bump up to near 90, and then they're going to cool this evening back down to 80 by 9 p.m. and midnight into the mid 70s. And the feels like temp today does not get completely out of control, staying in the low to mid 90s. So yes, you're still going to feel the heat as you're doing your outdoor work. It's just not going to be as oppressive as what's to come. Right now, the hottest heat index is across northwest Iowa. Spencer feeling like 97. It feels like 90 right now in Carroll, but we've got some clouds coming in across parts of the state that are kind of keeping things a little more comfortable. Plus, the wind is helping out too. It's coming in from the south, a little gusty this midday, about 15 to 20 miles per hour, and at times just a little bit higher than that. But that's also going to be pumping in the moisture. On the radar picture, we've got a couple of showers to talk about across north central Iowa. No severe weather is expected with this, and unfortunately, not everybody will see the rain, but at least it's kicking up some cloudiness, so that will help to shield us from that blazing sunshine. As we take a little closer view here near the Fort Dodge area, you can see some raindrops north of town near Humboldt spreading over toward Clarion and then back up near Emmitsburg. And there have been a couple of lightning strikes with this, but they are well below severe weather limits here. As we look around the Midwest, Look at what's happening in St. Louis. This is a remnants of Barry here already bringing them some rain and notice the movement is up to the north and if it continues on the same path, it's going to be brushing southern and southeast Iowa with at least a few clouds, if not a few showers and those orange shaded counties across northwest Iowa. That's a heat advisory. That's where the worst conditions will be felt today. Taking you hour by hour by 6 p.m. We're going to be seeing a few of those clouds from Barry ourselves here in central Iowa, possibly a couple of sprinkles or brief shower across southeast Iowa. We got some changes coming overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. A complex of storms in Minnesota may brush mainly northern Iowa with a chance for rain. Tuesday morning, here comes a few more showers entering northwest Iowa near the Fort Dodge area back up through Storm Lake and Emmonsburg. Those kind of fizzle out as the morning goes along. But as we head into the afternoon, redevelopment is expected again. Better chances for rain tomorrow, 5 p.m. up across the northern counties. It will slowly begin its trek to the southeast here, so by 8 o'clock, Ames, you might get a few raindrops of your own, a few rumbles of thunder here across Des Moines, back through Adel through 10 p.m. Then that rain heads out and the heat builds in. Rain trackers showing the rainfall totals. This takes us through Wednesday here possibly over a half inch across central Iowa. Better chances for heavier rain up to the north. We're going to get brushed by those repeated rounds here, so over an inch to two inches. Southern and southwest Iowa pretty much miss out on the rain chances the next couple of days. Here in Des Moines right now, we've got a lot of haze out there. A few clouds coming on in. 84 degrees here in Des Moines. South breeze now at 15, so the feels like temp is not that bad at 87. It's going to be the most comfortable day of the week, though. Here's your eight-day forecast. Slight chances of rain come through here during the middle part of the weekend. Ooh, Ooh, ouch, those highs hurt your feelings, don't they? <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, close to 100 degrees for highs, lows in the 80s. Wow.